In this video, I will show you how to replace the in-tank fuel pump on 1999 to 2006 Chevrolet Silverado pickup trucks. Start by parking the truck on a flat surface, lift the truck using a hydraulic jack to a suitable height and place jack stands under the chassis for safety. Use an 8mm wrench or ratchet and 8mm socket to disconnect the negative battery terminal to prevent a possible short circuit. Next, remove the screw that holds the throttle body protector with an 8mm socket and remove the protector. Warning, remember that you will be working with the fuel line, therefore take the necessary security measures, do not smoke or use any open flame near the vehicle. Work in a ventilated area and have a fire extinguisher handy for safety. To release the pressure in the fuel line, remove the plastic cap that covers the pressure relief valve by turning it counterclockwise, insert a small flat blade screwdriver pressing inward a little while at the same time use a towel under the valve to prevent the fuel from coming into contact with the engine components. To gain better access to the fuel lines, remove the three hoses that connect it by pressing inward with your hand by applying pressure on the edges of the connector and pulling back at the same time. Remove the screw that holds the canister to the chassis using a 13mm socket and a ratchet and remove it completely. Next, press the connector latch edges inward and pull the fuel line back at the same time as shown in the picture to disconnect the lines that are connected to the fuel tank. Loosen the fuel tank filler hose clamp with a ratchet and an 8mm socket or a flat blade screwdriver. Place a hydraulic jack and a wooden board at the appropriate height under the fuel tank without obstructing the metal belts that hold the tank to the chassis as shown in the image. Remove the two metal belts that hold the fuel tank by removing the bolt with a ratchet, an extension, and a 15mm socket and unhook the belts on the opposite side of the bolt by lifting them slightly and pulling them out to clear the groove where they are mounted as shown in the image. Next, lower the hydraulic jack until the fuel tank is halfway down to have better access to the electrical connections of the fuel pump, slightly lift the tabs of the electrical connector with a flathead screwdriver and pull it back at the same time as shown in the image to disconnect the electrical connector. Once the electrical connector has been disconnected, slowly lower the fuel tank all the way to the ground. Place the fuel tank in an area where you can work freely and disconnect the three lines that connect to the fuel pump by pressing with your hand on the edges of the connector locks and pulling them back as shown in the image. Next, remove any dust and debris that may be accumulated on the edge of the fuel pump module using compressed air before removing the retaining ring. Next, release the plastic lock that holds the ring using a flat blade screwdriver as shown in the image, press on the edges of the ring and the fuel tank using adjustable pliers and turn the ring counterclockwise until it is free so the fuel pump can be removed and proceed to remove the defective fuel pump. Once the faulty fuel pump has been removed, thoroughly clean the surface where the pump seal sits before installing the new seal and the new fuel pump. Place the seal on the new pump by sliding it from the bottom of the fuel pump module moving it upward until it reaches the stop as shown in the image. In case the replacement pump does not have the float installed. Place the tip of the rod in the orifice and pressing with your hand insert the rod into the slots that hold it as shown in the image. If the new pump does not have connector locks, use the locks from the defective pump. If the new pump has a different electrical connector than the original, use the new connector that is included with the new pump and connect the wires according to their color. To access the electrical wires, separate the plastic conduit that protects the wiring. Next, cut the wires to a suitable length ensuring that the wiring harness can return to its original position. And with the appropriate tool remove a section of the insulation of the cable of approximately 2 cm. Join the ends of the wires according to their corresponding color and solder the wires with a soldering iron or use electrical connectors to join both ends of the wires together. Use heat shrink insulation to protect the wire joints and use a hair dryer or heat gun to shrink the heat shrink insulators. Important, do not use a torch because the flames can cause a fire when making contact with gasoline vapors. Install the new fuel pump in the correct position as shown in the image. Once the new fuel pump has been installed, proceed to install the remaining components in the reverse order they were removed making sure that all the connections and fasteners are installed and tightened correctly. Bleed the air from the fuel line as follows. Without starting the engine, activate and deactivate the ignition switch for a period of 5 seconds on two repeated occasions. Before starting the engine make sure there are no fuel leaks, if everything looks good start the engine and make sure once again that there are no fuel leaks. That's how simple it is to replace the fuel pump on 1999 through 2006 Chevrolet Silverado trucks.